The Nationalist Movement Party, alternatively translated as Nationalist Action Party (Turkish: Milliyetçi Hareket Partisi, MHP), is a Turkish far-right conservative political party that adheres to Turkish ultranationalism and euroscepticism. The party was formed in 1969 by former Colonel Alparslan Turks, who had become leader of the far-right Republican Villagers Nation Party in 1965. The party mainly followed a pan-Turkist and ultranationalist political agenda throughout the latter half of the 20th century, but later moderated its views under the leadership of Devlet Bocelli, who took over after Turks's death in 1997. The party's youth wing is the Grey Wolves organization, which is also known as the Nationalist Hearths. Alku Okaklari. Turks, who is widely revered by Turkish nationalists as the founder of the idealist movement, is commonly referred to as Chieftain. Basbug by his supporters. Alparslan Turks founded the party after criticizing the Republican People's Party CHP for moving too far away from the nationalist principles of their founder Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, claiming that he would have not founded the MHP had the CHP not deviated from Atatürk's ideology. Although Turks failed to win any elections, the MHP won enough seats in the 1973 and 1977 general election to take part in two right-wing coalition governments led by Justice Party AP leader Süleyman Demirel. Turks served as the Deputy Prime Minister of Turkey between 1975 and 1977 in what was referred to as the First Nationalist Front Government and again between 1977 and 1978 in the Second Nationalist Front. After Turks's death and the election of Devlet Bocelli as his successor, the party moderated its views and adopted a more mainstream nationalist agenda. The party under Bocelli's leadership won 18% of the vote and 129 seats in the 1999 general election, its best ever result, coming second only to the Democratic Left Party DSP. Bocelli subsequently became Deputy Prime Minister after entering a coalition with the DSP and the Motherland Party ANAP, though his calls for an early election resulted in the government's collapse in 2002. In the 2002 general election, the MHP fell below the 10% election threshold and lost all of its parliamentary representation after the newly formed Justice and Development Party AKP won a plurality. Since the 2007 general election, in which the MHP won back its parliamentary representation with 14.27% of the vote and 71 seats, the party has strongly opposed the peace negotiations between the government and Kurdish separatist militants and has been fiercely critical of the governing AKP over government corruption and authoritarianism. Nevertheless, the MHP has often been referred to critics as the AKP's lifeline having either openly or covertly helped the AKP in situations such as the 2007 presidential election, repealing the headscarf ban and the June-July 2015 parliamentary speaker elections. In the 2011 general election, the party's vote fell to 13% and won 53 seats, though increased to 16.3% and 80 seats in the June 2015 general election. Having consistently maintained third-party status in Parliament since 2007, the MHP halved its parliamentary representation to win 40 seats with 11.9% of the vote in the November 2015 general election, becoming the fourth-largest party in Parliament behind the People's Democratic Party HDP. The MHP supported a «yes» vote in the 2017 referendum, and has formed the People's Alliance Electoral Pact with the AKP for the 2018 Turkish general election. History <inaudible> Before 1980 In 1965, nationalist politician and ex-Colonel Alparslan Turks, who had trained in the United States for NATO, founded the Turkish Gladio Special Warfare Department, gained control of the conservative Rural Republican Villagers Nation Party Turkish, Cumhuriyeci Koylu Millet Partisi, CKMP. During an extraordinary Great Congress held at Adana in Turkey on 8–9 February 1969, Turks changed the name of the party to the Nationalist Movement Party MHP. The MHP embraced Turkish nationalism, and under the leadership of Turks, militias connected to the party were responsible for assassinating numerous left-wing intellectuals and academics, including some Kurds, during the 1970s. 
The leader of the party's youth wing, known as the Grey Wolves after Turkic mythology, claimed that they had an intelligence organization that was superior to the state's own. On the other hand, MHP had links to the Aidenlar Okagi, Ao, Hearth of Intellectuals, a right wing think tank launched in 1970 by established university professors, which served as a connecting link between secular conservative, nationalist, and Islamic rightists, promoting the ideology of Turkish Islamic synthesis. AO's ideas, which have been compared to those of the French Nouvelle Droite, had a determining influence on MHP's programs and served to lend the far right party a more legitimate, respectable appearance. On May 27, 1980, the party's deputy leader and former government minister Gun Sazak was assassinated by members of the Marxist Leninist terrorist group Revolutionary Left Turkish, Sal or Dev Sal in front of his home. When the Turkish army seized power on September 12, 1980, in a violent coup d'etat led by General Keenan Evren, the party was banned, along with all other active political parties at the time, and many of its leading members were imprisoned. Many party members joined the neoliberal Inhabitant Partisi or various Islamist parties. Party member Aga Okte Gunner noted that the party's ideology was in power while its members were in prison. Re-establishment The party was reformed in 1983 under the name Conservative Party, Turkish Muhafazakar Party. After 1985, however, the name was changed to the Nationalist Task Party, Turkish Milliyetçi Kalizma Partisi, then back again to its former name in 1992. In 1993, Musin Yazıcıoğlu and five other deputies separated and founded the Great Union Party, which is an Islamist party. Ideology The MHP's view represents the Nine Light Doctrine, based on Turkish nationalism shaped by Islam. The MHP used to be described as a neo-fascist party linked to extremist and violent militias. Since the 1990s it has, under the leadership of Devlet Bocelli, gradually moderated its program, turning from ethnic to cultural nationalism and conservatism and stressing the unitary nature of the Turkish state. Notably, it has moved from strict, Kemalist-style secularism to a more pro-Islamic stance, and has, at least in public statements, accepted the rules of parliamentary democracy. Some scholars doubt the sincerity and credibility of this turn and suspect the party of still pursuing a fascist agenda behind a more moderate and pro-democratic facade. Nevertheless, MHP's mainstream overture has strongly increased its appeal to voters and it has grown to the country's third strongest party, continuously represented in the National Assembly since 2007 with voter shares well above the 10% threshold. <laughs> Opposition to the HDP Due to their ideological differences, the MHP is strongly opposed to any form of dialogue with the left-wing Kurdish Nationalist People's Democratic Party HDP, which Devlet Bocelli has often opposed by voting against in Parliament. A notable example was in the June-July 2015 parliamentary speaker elections, where the MHP declared that they would not support any candidate and cast blank votes after the HDP announced support for the Republican People's Party CHP candidate Denise Bakel. The MHP also ruled out any prospect of a coalition government that receives support from the HDP after the June 2015 general election resulted in a hung parliament, even rejecting CHP leader Kemal Kilisidargulu's offer of Bocelli becoming prime minister in such a coalition. MHP deputy leader Salal Adan claimed that even using our party's name in the same sentence as the HDP will be counted as cruelty by us. In early September 2015, the MHP and the HDP both voted against the new interim election government ministers from taking their oaths of office, causing speculation of whether the MHP was dropping their harsh stance against the HDP. However, Sema Yalsin downplayed any notions of an alliance between the two parties, stating that a broken clock will still show the correct time once a day. The HDP can sometimes take a correct decision in Parliament. Showing this as a MHP HDP coalition is a deliberate diversion. Topic: <laughs> Controversies. 
In July 2015, inmidst a wave of protests against the Xinjiang conflict, MHP-affiliated Ulkuku attacked South Korean tourists on Istanbul's Sultanahmet Square. In an interview to Turkish columnist Ahmet Hakan, MHP leader Devlet Bocelli played the attacks down, stating that, "...these are young kids. They may have been provoked. Plus, how are you going to differentiate between Korean and Chinese? They both have slanted eyes. Does it really matter?" Bocelli's remarks were widely considered racist, and together with a banner reading, "...we crave Chinese blood." At the Ulkuku Istanbul headquarters, the affair caused an uproar in both Turkish and international media. Party leaders At present The party is headed by Devlet Bocelli and has 50 deputies, three of them women, in the Grand National Assembly. The party has recently been putting a distance between itself and its history of ultranationalism, at occasion asking its members to keep away from ethnic politics. There is an opposition against Devlet Bocelli led by Merrill Axener, Kore Aden, Umit Azdag and Sinan Ogan within the party. Election results Topic General Elections Topic Senate Elections Topic Local Elections Topic. See also Akan Suver